Johnny here for Johnny's Car Care and Reviews. Today, we're gonna to teach you and show you how to track your Ford vehicle. So you're gonna be able to know where your vehicle's where your vehicle is, what's going on with your vehicle, and what's the equipment on your vehicle. But this isn't just a how-to video. This is also all about solutions because uh, that tracking system can definitely get some people real worked up, real worried, and I'm gonna tell you what you really do need to worry about and how to correct it, so solutions. And I'm also gonna be showing you what not to worry about. So let's not worry about everything. Let's just sweat the big stuff, you know? Let's not sweat the small stuff. And on that note, I wish you all a wonderful evening. I've got my carbonized water with me, uh, delicious stuff. So. You know, let's just put the pedal to the metal on this one and get right into how to use the tracking system, what problems might arise, what problems to take seriously, and what solutions you can, you know, put into action to make sure you get your build at your house correct or at your dealer, because it'll go to your dealer first. It won't go straight to your house, but let's make sure we get that right. So let's do it. Pedal to the metal. Let's talk about step one. So we're going to be start starting with the how to. If you're here for solutions because you have problems with the tracking system uh, and you haven't been able to get the correct information or you're worried about the information that it's giving you, I understand. I've got a doozy and I can show you probably one of the biggest errors, but the system's actually really helpful. You just got to keep a few things in mind. One, this isn't, you know, the official system that dealers use. They have their own vehicle uh, visibility system, and it's completely different than this one that requires passwords and whatnot, but this is for customers like us. So let me tell you all about it. So and this is really a video that I've made in response to a lot of people's questions. You know, just in the last seven days, I've had three people really worried about what the tracker system's telling them. And I'd say it's a good general tool, but don't take it as, you know, the final word on everything. That's going to be the big advice, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Let's just do the how-to first. So step one, you need to type in shop.for.com slash vehicle order tracking that little tic-tac-toe box slash, or uh, you can Google Ford vehicle order tracking and select the title, uh, what is the status of my vehicle order? So to say that again, you put Ford vehicle order tracking, and then you select the one that it's gonna be titled, what is the status of my vehicle order? So that's step number one. Now. After this, it gets real nice and easy, but there is one a few tricks coming up. You've got to choose, um, once you're on that site now, you're going to choose Ford Vehicle Order Tracking. It's underlined and easy to see. It's in bold. So Ford Vehicle Order Tracking. Now, step number three. Uh, put in your customer order, your customer number. So that could be, for example, like M and three numbers. It, it can be a mixture of things. You're, you're not gonna have it on your own, your dealer is gonna have that. So you're gonna need to talk with your dealer. They're gonna let you know what your customer order number is. They'll have selected it for you and they may or may not have given it to you. So if you don't have it, you know, go back to, if they gave you an order confirmation sheet, it's probably gonna be right on that. So look through that first and if you don't see it or if you don't have an order confirmation sheet, well then of course, uh, you'll need to call up your dealer. You can just do that over the phone. Pretty simple for them to, uh, for your salesperson to uh, get it to you or email. Now enter the VIN. So if you don't have a VIN yet, this tracking system's not gonna work for you. The, tra the purpose of the tracking system and what it's pretty good at, you know, it's working, let's say, I, I don't have any specific data on this, but let's say it works 95% of the time to let you know where your vehicle is. It's gonna bring you from step to step between order confirmed, in production, built, shipped, and uh, dealer contact. That means you need to contact your dealer as well because dealer contact means your vehicle has arrived. It's made contact with the dealer. And that's when you need to contact your dealer. So that's the how-to. I've been running it on the side here. Hopefully there aren't any questions. Otherwise, I'll make another video or I'll answer any questions in the comments section. Now, the fun part begins. <laughs> this is where some of you are going to really get worried. And this is where I can really help. This is why I'm making this video. Three times in one week, I've got people 
really losing hair, losing sleep because some wonky stuff has gone down. So let me just give you an example. I'm gonna flip through a, he a few here twice in one week. I put in a VIN number and that VIN number for an F-150, obviously not an electric F-150. They don't have VIN numbers yet, but I put in a VIN number and an F-150 appeared as the image. Not only did it appear as the image, it also appeared as the title. So I've got to say, when you first get your VIN, when you could say your VIN has, you know, freshly been minted, this system might give you um, the wrong build. Uh, it doesn't mean your build is wrong. Give it a few days and if you're comfortable give it a week or two i'd say where you really need to worry is when you put in your vin one if your vin is not freshly minted if it's you know a few weeks have passed and when you put it in if on top of that or even from the beginning it's giving you details about your vehicle that are almost perfect but it's missing one or two items or it has one or two items extra now you've got problems now let me talk about my personal bronco uh no, marie's i think we might end up switching broncos <laughs> she loves the blue i love the cactus i love them both hey i just want bigger you know i want a sasquatch package but that bronco uh, that i'm waiting on first of all when i put it in the system i don't get an image and it says it has a black interior now i could really worry and being that it's actually been built, I should worry. So I verified that's a good time, ideally before it gets built, at least three, four weeks before it gets built. You need to check up and make sure that when it comes to, you know, go through the accessories section, the packages section, the interior section, as well as the model information. Click on exterior. Now my Bronco says it has a black interior and I will prove, you know, with my window sticker here, I'm gonna prove to you that it actually has a medium, uh, the interior that's gray and blue. But here's the problem. You can't get your window sticker until your vehicle is either built or has started to be built. So that's too late to make sure the equipment's right. So use this tracking system to make sure you've got the equipment right if you don't already have an order confirmation sheet from your dealership that does list all your equipment. So here's the thing to do if the tracker gives you not quite the right build or way off. You know, you're, you've ordered an F-150 and it's telling you it's a Lightning when in reality it's, you know, just a 302 F-150 or a King Ranch F-150. In my case, it was a King Ranch F-150 that I saw being, being, you know, the tracking system said it was a King Ranch. Of course, these are Canadian VINs, so I think they're more apt maybe to having issues uh, because this is a Ford.com system. It's made for American customers, but it's interesting enough as a Canadian, as Canadian customers, we can use it too. And it, it will, it looks like it will track. Uh, I've actually got a Maverick to talk about coming up. Interesting facts about a Maverick that comes up just perfect on that tracking system. So if you don't have an order conf confirmation sheet from your dealership, and your build is wrong according to the tracking system, now is the time to contact the dealer. Send them an email and ask them to send you a copy of the order confirmation because you wanna make sure, let them know, I wanna make sure my build is right because the tracking system says that, you know, it's missing one or two things or it's completely the wrong model. <laughs> that could happen. You don't have to, don't freak out. It, it almost, I don't think, rarely, your dealership would have to have had incorrectly ordered your vehicle for it to be wrong. So like I said in the beginning, the tracking system isn't the, you know, be all end all, the order confirmation sheet from your dealer is. Okay, some major issues I've seen with the system. As mentioned, quick repeat, I've had uh, lightnings, two lightnings show up under F regular F-150, gas powered F-150 builds. That's not normal. Uh, let's, you know, we, let's not freak out. The tracking system is to help you track your vehicle. It's, it's not necessarily the ideal system for checking your equipment. My Bronco coming up, wrong interior. I've got the window sticker to prove. I've got the right build. Of course, you need to check that with your order confirmation sheet with your dealer. So that takes care of all of that. Now let's talk about, you know, general things you should know about the system. First of all, your order 
even the tracker tells you, and I've been telling you now for quite a while, your order generally should take between the system here, I believe it said 12 to 24 days, I'd say 12 to 30 days, because it really does, some regions really are quite a bit further, and if you're one of our Maverick uh, watchers, uh, <laughs> You know, I'm up here. I'm, I'm up north here. I expect that Maverick once built to take more like 30 days to show up. But generally, if the factory's in the U.S., 12 to 24 days is a really good does. It's a good representative time frame of how long it should take. Now, what else do we need to know that's really important? I think it's really important to keep in mind that this the last year and a half has been incredibly tough. You know, I'm thinking of you know quads, four by fours. Some some companies, manufacturers won't be producing them for you know six or eight months because they can't get the the dashes uh, for your your speedometer odometer because there aren't any microchips. Ford has done a fantastic job navigating all this, and some people have been really hard and critical on the tracking system. You know they've said if a pizza company can get it right, how is it that when we're paying you know whether it's twenty, thirty, forty tens of thousands of dollars for a vehicle, how come they can't get it right? Well, what I can say this year, you know, we've had hacking problems uh, all over, and I'm not just talking about Ford, uh, and, I'm, and I'm not talking about Ford in this instance, but there have been hacking issues, you know, with transporters all around the world. There's been complete, you know, complete depletion of, you know, supplies and resources. So it's been hard getting, no matter who you are, whether it's wood, concrete, uh, rubber, vinyl, glass, it's been tough getting the, you know, getting what we need. So unfortunately, we need to be a little stoic about this, you know, take, look for the positive, because at the end of the day, something we also need to realize is with the electronics, the whole electronic system, this tracking system, for example, we've got to remember that we're as a society now adjusting to a whole lot of people working from home. I didn't see people freaking out when, you know, you're watching the BBC news or any major news station and someone's kid would come running, kicking and screaming into the office during uh, during a live interview with, you know, a major news source with millions of people watching. You know, we we just understood, I think. And I find it odd that, you know, when there's a little technical glitch in a system, we still get unbelievably worked up. And I understand because it's always been hugely frustra frustrating when technology doesn't work. It's supposed to make our lives easier. So when the purpose of its existence is to make our lives easier, of course we get worked up when it doesn't work. But we got to keep in mind that, you know, these aren't uh, normal times and we just got to cut it a little bit of slack you know i don't think you know if we cut tie this into what's going on with the maverick you know hybrids i don't think ford in any way is doing this deliberately they obviously want to bring new customers to ford and they don't want people canceling their orders you know it's been suggested that oh well maybe they're ford's deliberately doing this so people take the more expensive ecoboost engine because the option the ecoboost engines what about twenty two hundred dollars i really do not think that's the case whatsoever ford wants to get this right they're working unbelievably hard to get this right so let me now i left a little um the golden nugget for the end what's really neat and this is about maverick stuff this is gonna help you know remind us all what we need to do the maverick that jumped ahead of maris uh, i've been saying it was around the 17th of september is actually the 8th of september so i'll put it up on the side here it's it's not only in production it's gone into the built phase so it has been built they, they finished building it the first of december now from what i can tell that means it's window sticker at the bottom is going to probably be listed as the first of december that's you know it's birthday it'll probably take about 24 to 30 days to show up and here's another thing about the tracking system i've seen uh the tracking system on this particular order say that it was going to show up the 24th of december to the 30th of december then it jumped to uh the 6th of december to about uh, i can't remember exactly it was about an extra four or seven days later for the eta that's estimated time of arrival and now it's back to saying it'll show up uh this system actually the tracker is saying it's going to show up the 24th whereas the the internal Ford system, the visibility system, says the 6th of January. I'm pretty sure this is now going to show up 
the 24th. So do keep in mind that if your build is jumping around, and I, I'm particularly talking about this to answer several uh, comments. Uh, so I'm gonna answer those questions here, uh, not necessarily in the comments se section because I've made this video for you. If your build has you know, been pushed back once or twice by a week, don't then think, oh, well, it's never gonna get built or it's gonna get built next summer. No, it got pushed back by a week or two. In some of our cases, it'll have been pushed back quite a bit more, you know, when there's a major issue, like the whole Bronco hardtop issue. But in the case of your Mavericks, if they get pushed back a week or two, and then, you know, I wouldn't worry about it at all because I saw with my personal Bronco, it kept flipping back and forth by about two weeks. Uh, the current Bronco I'm waiting on has been flipping back and forth, and now it's settled on the original date. So just because your dates are moving around doesn't mean you're never going to get it. Uh, it just means the system's kind of working it all out, and it can be just a little weird. Doesn't mean it's broken, just means we got to accept it's a little weird. Hey, we're all a little weird sometimes, so we got to accept it and just move beyond it. Don't worry. Don't stress out about that part. You will get your hybrid Maverick if you've got a build date. Awesome. Great. It's getting built. Don't think that they're, they're not going to build it because they want you to get an EcoBoost. Now, going back to that Maverick that jumped ahead of Marie's. In case you haven't been following the channel for you know months and months and months, I hope you do. Please like and subscribe. Uh, but in case you did miss it, why did that vehicle jump ahead of it? Well, I've been predicting since about when this got a VIN, when this got uh, confirmed uh, back in September, pretty much right off, late September, I think it got picked up and given a VIN. Uh, I highly suspected it was because of the luxury package. Uh, now it's official. The luxury package is something that is constrained. So if you can live without it, you can always take it off your order. But if you are a hybrid order, please, uh, you should not at this point be playing around with your hybrid order. Uh, keep it the way it is. Uh, Ford is working to get those into the system. Uh, that's just my advice. You can do what you want, obviously, but I suggest just leave it and hope it gets picked up soon because a lot of hybrids, I think, are going to be getting uh, scheduled in the next uh, several weeks, in the, ne in the next, you know, about four weeks, in the month of December. So good luck to everyone who's ordered a hybrid. Uh, now, of course, if you've ordered a hybrid in the month of November, it's a little touchy. The cutoff date was the 15th of November, but as I've reported, and that was especially with the help from Ridgeview, uh, who's uh, in his case, he had a Maverick, his family had a Maverick on order, and it was before the 15th, I believe it was the 10th. It made the deadline, but it's not getting built. So I think at dealerships where hybrids were really popular, I think the whole month of November, we gotta just really keep our fingers crossed for you. I'm wishing you a lot of positivity and a lot of luck. But if you're back in October or earlier, you shouldn't worry. And by the way, for people who are posting and asking or really commenting, thinking like, you know, I haven't gotten a build date and I ordered in October, something must be horribly wrong. No, everything's okay. Ford just hasn't gotten to you yet. We're, Ford is still, for certain dealerships, dealing with orders back in you know July and August, actually for a lot of dealerships. My order, for example, a July 17th hybrid, still hasn't been scheduled, but I'm probably thinking it'll get scheduled in the next two or three weeks, and I wish that for all of you. Thank you so much for watching. If I missed anything, if I need to clarify anything, just let me know. I am here to help, and please tune in. Uh, my next video is going to be the Bronco properly off-roading. I'd say doing some medium off-road. You know, it's no major rock climbing, but it will be having a whole ton of fun in a gravel pit, trying all sorts of, you know, uphill, downhill, trying the trail turn assist and the stabilizer bar disconnect. Uh, turns out I don't really need stabilizer bar disconnect. I overbought my Bronco. But that's why the, the new one coming in uh, for the family, well, for Marie, us, is an Outer Banks Sasquatch. Uh, don't need the stabilizer bar disconnect, but I'll be showing you those technologies. I had an absolute blast, and I would also love your opinion. I'm just going to be putting out a little survey whether I should take the stripes off the Bronco. So I'll let the community decide. And until then, I wish you all more cars and more power. And I thank you greatly for watching. Have a great week and see you next time.
you know, porn, just cause. <laughs> you hit the porn again. <laughs>